book moral stories in english hi kids today let's enter into a story elephant and friends a lone elephant wandered the forest looking for friends she came across a monkey and asked will you be my friend monkey you're too big and cannot swing on trees as i do so i cannot be your friend said the monkey the elephant came across a rabbit and asked him if she could be his friend you're too big to fit inside my burrow you cannot be my friend replied the rabbit then the elephant met a frog and asked if she could be her friend the frog said you are too big and heavy you cannot jump like me i'm sorry but you cannot be my friend the elephant asked a fox and he got the same reply that he was too big the very next day all the animals in the forest were running in fear the elephant stopped a bear and asked what was happening and was told that a tiger has been attacking all the animals the elephant wanted to save the other weak animals and went to the tiger and said please sir leave my friends alone do not eat them the tiger did not listen and asked the elephant to mind her own business seeing no other way to solve the problem the elephant kicked the tiger and scared it away she then went back to others and told them what happened on hearing how the elephant saved their lives the animals agreed in unison you're just the right size to be our friend moral friends come in all shapes and sizes hi kids today let's enter into a story the blue jackal once upon a time there lived a jackal who strayed into a city in search of food he was hungry and was being chased by a group of dogs he accidentally entered the house of a dyer and fell into a vat of indigo mean blue and was stained blue from head to toe when he escaped from the house back into the forest all animals were surprised at his appearance and could not place its identity taking advantage of the situation the jackal decided to play the situation to his advantage he proclaimed that he was fierce all sent by the king of gods indra to earth to god the forest the gullible animals believed the jackal the jackal then appointed the lion as his prime minister tiger has his guardian of the bed chamber and the elephant was made the door keeper he then drove all the jackals out of sight from the forest for fear of being recognized the animals would hunt wood and bring it to the self proclaimed king and the king would distribute the food to all equally just as king would do so he was leading a life of luxury one day a herd of jackals were passing by howling to their glory unable to control his natural instinct fierce owl showed his natural voice and howled at the top of his voice hearing this howl the animals realized that they had been fooled by a jackal and killed the jackal instantly moral excess of greed is harmful today let's enter into a story the fox and the grapes one hot summer's day a fox was strolling through an 
orchard till he came to a bunch of grapes just ripening on a vine which had been trained over a lofty branch just thing to quench my thirst quoth he drawing back a few paces he took a run and a jump and just missed the bunch turning round again with a one two three he jumped up but with no greater success again and again he tried after the tempting morsel but at last had to give it up and walked away with his nose in the air saying i am sure they are sore hey thank you for watching click the subscribe if you like our video